Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Yvetta, the owner of Yvetta Made It Graphics and Marketing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Made It crew. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to say we hit 700 subscribers a couple days ago. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that are watching, supporting, sharing, and you know just here in general i love you all and thank you so much in today's video i want to talk about a few things before we get into actually designing um i did receive a video idea form well it really wasn't an idea but we are going to talk about it anyways I'm not going to say her name. I forgot to ask whether you all wanted to be anonymous or shout it out in the form. So I'll add that later. But this particular form says that um, she wants to discuss a video in Canva. The topic is flyer design. And the thing that she struggles with the most is that her graphics aren't clear enough. And she doesn't have many flyer ideas and stock pictures okay so I'm not sure what you mean by your graphics aren't clear enough feel free to reach out to me about that um, whether it's in the comments on this video or you can DM me on Instagram at Yvetta made it of course um, you don't have many flyer ideas okay just to give you a little advice on flyer ideas see for mine I have like spring break summer summer back to school um new arrivals shop now spring deals go by like seasons like right now back to school is what people are looking for so do back to school ideas uh flyer ideas for back to school um what is next halloween you can do ideas for halloween um just make them theme based everyone needs shop now flyers you can make shop now flyers um there's an idea new arrivals uh boutiques are always looking for a way to promote their new arrivals um their new products any type of new inventory so you can do like new arrival flyers um selfie uh flyers send us a selfie those people need those all the time you can do nail cam hair cam um brow cam if you want to create flyers for lash techs or uh the people that do eyebrows what are they called are they still have lash techs <laughs> book your appointment there are so many hairstylists uh service-based businesses book your appointment, uh, promote, pr just promoting their service-based businesses. You could do a whole page of flyers for those. Restock alert. Flyers don't have to be like this Sunday brunch one. There's a lot going on. They don't have to be as uh, detailed as that, especially starting out. Um, you can just put something simple on the flyer. Just restock alert, new arrival, shop now. There are so many different ideas. And of course, the theme ones, Christmas, 4th of July, uh, all of those things that you know bigger companies have sales for. You can use those themes and create flyers from there. All right. And as far as stockpiles, um, let's look at a free website to get stock, stock picks, not stockpiles. Y'all, let's look at a free website to get stock photos from. All right. So pixels, 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 pixels has an I, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't spell today. Anyways, whatever. Pixels.com is a free stock photo website where you can find all types of different um, stock photos to use for your designs. What you do is just search for whatever you need. It's a cute picture right here. 
You got a beach. It's still summertime. Use that. Um, you just have to type in what you need, whether you need like hair models, uh, nail models, eyelash models, braid models. You just type in what you need and find stock photos there. Um, I've used pixels a couple times, not too much because I typically try to find photographers that um, will sell their photos. Um, you can contact photographers, ask them if they sell their stock photos or if they sell their photos. Um, you can find graphic designers that sell their photos. A lot of business owners um, want extra money, they'll sell their photos that they did for their brand. You just have to look basically. But this is one uh, free website where you can find stock photos for free and use those in your designs. Canva, of course, has a lot of stock photos. You just have to look through a million of them and be specific in what you're looking for when you search. That way it'll narrow down the search. And I hope that helps, but we're going to get into this design. All right. So in this video, of course, we are in Canva. Go ahead and get your Instagram post ready so we can create this design. Um, the other option for my TikTok poll was a back to school flyer. And you know, I cannot leave y'all hanging. So I am going to do a back to school flyer today. These are the hex codes that I think I'm going to be using. I'm kind of on the fence about them. But if you want to download these hex codes, they are right here. Um, also, I didn't go ahead and find my elements because I want to do that process with you all. So, oh, once you get your color palette together, we are going to get started. Um, I don't know what model I'm going to use yet. But if it's one that I have a link for, I will include that in the description as well. So let's get started. These are going to be the colors that we use and we are creating a back to school flyer. So what I want is like a, a composition notebook type background. So I'm going to type in composition notebook. And let's just see what comes up. Nothing. Okay. Maybe if I type it in the right thing. So see, I have it on templates. I need to be in elements. Um, okay. We have this one. Why does it look like that? Like it doesn't stretch out this way. Okay. So I think I'm just going to duplicate it and Cause this is gonna be kind of covered up anyways. So, and get rid of that line. Okay, maybe not get rid of the line. Uh -huh. All right. If y'all don't tell, I won't tell. Okay, we're just gonna <laughs> leave that line there. So now we have our composition notebook background. I also wanna go ahead and add like a ripped paper. Effects. Maybe this one. I think that's the one I use all the time. Or maybe like a book. No, not that one. Um, let's make. Like I put a lot into my backgrounds, and you're really nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's going to pay attention to this, but this is just me. I like to be extra and as detailed as possible on my flyers just because. All right. And then we want to put our information on a notebook paper, on a sheet of notebook paper, not on a notebook paper. Okay, and I usually make my own notebook paper by using lines and stuff, but for this video, I am going to just use the element and not be too extra. I like this one. Um, let's see. 
I hate how that one is shaped. Maybe if I do it like that. Because you can't really see this one. And I don't think I can put a shadow on it. Nope. Okay. So maybe next time, hun. Okay, yeah. And then I'm just going to extend it to the end. But let's see. Okay, so I'm not going to put our model on yet because I want to see where I'm going to put the text at. So I found this back to school font and it's literally called back to school. So I want to use that for this design. Let me find it. Time. Goodness. What is CF? I'm in the B's because back to school. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to start today. All right. So, back. See, it looks like it's like written. I love this. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to use all of my back to school fonts before the season is over, but I keep downloading new back to school fonts. Yeah. And oh, maybe I, oh, oh. Y'all don't talk about me, okay? <laughs> Hello? Capitalize, please. Capitalize. All right. So, um I got this font from uh defont.com. I just typed in back to school and this is how I found it and it it might have been called CF back to school but when I typed in back to school it came up let me see that's 176 this one's 165 okay yeah and then I don't think it has the numbers but we'll see oh it does okay Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so this is... I don't know if I want that to be like that, but we'll see. Let's get into our colors. Because this is so plain. I think I like the lighter one. And then maybe do this one in gray. I like it, maybe. Or does it look better in the middle? And this is literally what I do, creating uh flyers. Just move stuff around, like, oh, that's cute. Okay, that's cute. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. And when you do stuff like that, like right now it's right here. So this could be one flyer design, and then in the next one, you could put it right there. And that literally be the only thing you change. And that's a whole nother flyer design. So keep that in mind as well. I think I want it right there. It'll probably move, but yeah. This is bothering me. I thought I wanted it, but I don't think I want it anymore. Okay, whatever. All right, so let's get into the sale. What are we going to be selling? I have no idea. Let's just do back to school sale. I'm going to center that gray maybe or should I do it in black mm, that black is different okay back to school sale let's do 50% off I guess 
Not that it matters because it's not a real sale, but you know, I be putting my everything into these flyers. I can't do the percent sign. I cannot. I hate when fonts don't include everything. Let's find another font. And we are in my uploaded font. So if you see one, just go download it from um, Font Space or either thefont.com. You can Google a font name and figure out where to get it from. There are so many ways to find fonts. Ew. I just want like a thin, a simple, Ooh, let's do this. Okay, this is a chalk scratch font. I'm not gonna, I'm not about to try to pronounce that. <laughs> okay, let's just use this one. Um, okay, let's just use this one. Um, I feel like this color might be too bright, but I like it. 50% off. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is embarrassing. I can spell for real. I promise y'all I can spell. All right, 50% off. Um, let's just do the entire site. Hello, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm just going to... And let's do no code needed. And I want to make this black so it's not too much of that blue color. Is that centered? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and find us a model because right now I don't know where she's going. Alright, so this is my models folder. I used her in one of my other back to school flyers and I may use her again because I know for sure I have a link for her. Um, these are some that I got off Pixels. Uh, I feel like I paid for these pixels, models, pixels, and then I know I paid for those. Uh, since she popped up, I'm just gonna use her. I'm gonna edit the image, remove the background of um, removing the background from the model. I decided to use these Polaroids instead. And I don't think these are the ones I want to use. I'm going to use this one so I can change them. All right, yeah. And then let me grab my models. Um, so we're going to use her. I don't have a link for her, but the other two that I'm going to use, I will link those. gonna resize it to fit the Polaroid a little bit better okay and I'm just gonna group these together so I can move them at the same time and move this one down and go ahead and add the model to this one.
Okay, and then what I do is just drag and drop the picture. That way it'll change on its own and go ahead and size her correctly. Because if you just click on the picture, it's going to be bigger than the Polaroid. And I hate that. Alright, and I'm going to group this one and then just resize all of them and place them how I want them on here. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to move this. I'll just put it up here. I want it on here, but then again, it's bothering me. So it just looks like you got pictures just like hanging like sitting on top of your notebook or whatever. All right, something like that. Or you could even stack them. All right, so that's pretty much the flyer. Um, what I'm gonna do is just add like some drawings onto the paper, just add a little extra, um, just make it pop a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to elements and let's see what drawings brings up. Yeah, like doodles, that's what I should have typed. But yeah, like things like this, just put those on the paper as if like you're drawing on your paper, you know, you know, you know, I used to love to draw hearts and smiley faces on my paper, so I'm going to use those. <laughs> Let's put that there. And a cloud, I guess. Somewhere. All right, but that is pretty much it. Just a simple back to school cell flyer. Um, if you do recreate something like this, be sure to tag me. I want to see it. Um, y'all know y'all can tag me on Instagram at Yvetta Made It, or you can send it in my DM on Instagram. And I will be looking for it. But I hope this helps y'all create a back to school flyer. Like I said, just play around with elements. Move them around until you find something that you like. Don't forget to, to check the description bar for the links to the models. And I will see y'all in the next one.